Hey, you viewers and viewers, my name is General Red Strategist, and welcome back to Dungeon Robber S Ultimate Summer Camp. So, this is my first time recording. Well, not first time, I was about to say first time recording the episode. First time recording the episode after I have just got back pretty much from my brief sort of vacation holiday, I guess you could say, back up in the north of England during the summer, during work leave and all that. Because, um, you know, I think the last episode we uh, we took Samugi out onto the development board, didn't we? But that was a couple of weeks ago. Um, as, as of when I record this, when I recorded that. Sorry, I'm, I'm fumbling this intro. Let's just uh, ignore what I'm saying and just get straight into it. So, who shall we develop, ladies and gentlemen? We still got you rank Togami. We could always uh, take him out onto the board. Is there anyone who really sort of leaps out at me as someone who I might want to develop? Hiroko. Yeah. I've been saying for some time we should probably take Hiroko out onto the board at some point. So why don't we do that? Obviously, we've only got an end rank, so we're not really going to be... Well, yeah, we'll, we'll get as far as we can, but <laughs> we're not going to go all, all out on this one, I don't think. Uh, what was your voice that I gave you? Was it kind of like Karumi's silly sort of dom, dom lady voice, dommy mommy? Mm, now that we're here, time to keep Mecca relaxed, darling. Shame we don't have to any, uh, anyone to drink with, though. Yes, since you are the only adult, since Chihiro's dad didn't get to an opportunity to be a character in this. Mm. Right then. Let's get a move on. So, yes, ladies and gentlemen, like I say, um, pretty much, um, you know, got back recently from my holiday up north with friends and family, visiting and seeing how they're all doing. Just give me the card already. I'm trying to do commentary here. Go away. Um, but no, I was saying, so I had a pretty good time, and I'll be talking about it in my So You Being Wanted series. Though, having said that, um, those episodes aren't going to be coming out for a while, because, truth be told, I'd already pre-recorded quite a bit of Surya being hunted content, and as a result, it means that the episodes where I do talk about things I did back up north while I was visiting aren't going to be coming out for a little while, probably not till very late in August, possibly even very early September. But, uh, I'm sure it's fine, you know, it's not too much of an issue. But, uh, you know, just to give you sort of a quick idea of the sort of things I got up to, I mean, I, I have sort of, you know, my kind of favourite stuff that I uh, always love to do when I'm back up north. Visited Clitheroe, Lancaster, and various other places. But me and, you know, a couple of members of the family, we did... Uh, other interesting stuff as well. We went to Liverpool Maritime Museum. <sighs> it's pretty good. On side. All right, I've got to actually uh, put aside what I'm talking about and actually do some voice acting right now. Mm, still, Hope Speak Academy really is a wild place. How about that? Just imagine creating a place like this. Mm, talent can be a fearsome thing, eh? <laughs> <laughs> Back when I first entered, I was constantly mesmerised by people around me. Hey! Oh, oh it's Hero Mom. Can I ask you some... Uh, a question for me, darling? Sure, I'll buy it. If the answer, if the question is, would you like me to bend you forward over a table and give you a jolly good paddling? Oh yes. That's not an image any of us needed today, is it? Hiroko Hagakure giving Kokichi's bare booty cheeks a bit of a yaoi paddling or something. I don't. Best if I just stop talking about that, isn't it? Can't guarantee an answer though. Right. Oh, uh -huh. isn't your kid one of those fearsome talent hours too? Whoa. Hey, cool Kichi, you bugger. That's a rude way to ask a question. And? No, no, Makoto. Let's hear Kukichi out. Hey, hey. Oh, so what's it like to be the parent of an ultimate? I'm dying to know. Interesting. Well, from personal experience. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Well. I'd say it's actually pretty unextraordinary. That's... Unextraordinary? Actually. Is it me or, like, some of her voice lines have a much higher volume than others. Feels like that, at least to me. Environments like Biaki as a side. In my household with ordinary parents and an ultimate son. Probably. Parents are parents and my kid is just a kid. Yeah. I'm sure some ultimate households have their fair share of issues, but so does every family, darling. Since that's the case. It'll take more than credible talent to shake a family's foundation. Hmm. I see, I see. Hmm. As crazy as it sounds, I think that's right. 
Even after I became the ultimate lucky student, my, ba my parents barely changed in the slightest. How about that? Mm, shunning a child's talent or profiting from it. And those situations certainly aren't unheard of, darling. Probably. But again, that happens everywhere. An ultimate household only has a slightly higher degree of it. Thanks. Oh, noted. That was a big help. Thanks so much, hero mom. So? What made you... Oh, wrong voice. What made you so curious, Kokichi? Yeah. Oh, honestly, I was born from the big tree behind Hope Speaking Academy, so I don't have relatives at all. Which means... I often dream about what it'd be like to have parents. I want the clearest image possible. That's wrong. Didn't you say you were abandoned as an infant in a coin locker at Station the Earth Academy, you bugger? Jeez. We've barely met and how can you tell us a giant whopper? You want naughty kid, eh? I'll have to get the spanking paddle out. Because I'm a liar. Can't help myself. Just have to go back to the bit. Oh, for me, telling lies and introductions are synonymous. I am a liar after all. Oh. I'm an own boy. Oh. Right, let's go. Let's uh, push forward towards the boss, I do think. And do a few more of these special events on the way. And also, meet up with our son, who's right here. I got a goodbye card. Useless. Just like you, Bagakure. Alright, smash this guy up. Perfect. You should be sufficiently levelled to take on this boss. At least that gives me a bit more cash, though. I should have actually done a fight earlier to get the first island card so I could try and leap somewhere random, but... Ah, eh, it's fine. It's fine by me, ladies and gents. Right, so as I was saying, uh, yeah, um, I was back up north, went to the Liverpool Maritime Museum, and it was pretty damn good. I've never actually really been into the city of Liverpool before. I understand for some of you outside the UK, some of this thing, these things I'm talking about might be seemingly quite meaningless, but well, not really. You know, if you're ever in the UK, ever been to the Liverpool area, Maritime Museum, good place to go. Especially if you're into your nautical history like I am. It's pretty fun. They have some real good exhibitions, including one on the Titanic, one on the Lusitania. Pretty good stuff. Really lovely to go and uh, look at that. That's right. Yes. You guys are Please do. Let's do it. Take me straight there. Hopefully I won't sink like the bloody Titanic did. Speaking of the old Titanic and all that. Gives me an opportunity to use a very good analogy. Right, let's see if we can beat up the Monokuma insect. Two is all, he, all he's got, which is useless. So I didn't actually check what kind of character Hiroko is. Oh, she's athletic. Okay. Makes sense. Makes a hell of a lot of sense, thank you. If we get the treasure chest, that'll be good if we can. Five, we can't. That's fine, unless... Well, I can't go that way, never mind. I was just checking. Check to see if I can get up towards the other treasure chest, but I don't think that's going to happen. Oof, own that guy, fantastic. 330 jumper coins, very, very good. But yes, uh, other things uh, did while I was back up north, um, apart from the uh, Liverpool itself. I haven't said that, I haven't actually finished talking about what we did in Liverpool. We obviously went to the Maritime Museum, went for a wander around the waterfront. We um, basically then went to check out the, um, well basically the cathedrals in the city. The sort of more modern one than the historic uh, uh, actual Liverpool Cathedral. Oh god, I have to do the... Um, Friggin' Scooby voice. Well, Tenko, I'll give it my best shot, don't you worry. Uh, ooh, look at the swimsuit again, Hiroko. You've armed up to the girls. Sorry, let me try that again. You're armed to the girls with beauty and sophisticated charm. Huh. Did I change Tenko's voice last time I was uh, doing a dialogue? Because that Scooby voice really takes the breath out of me. I, I gotta change it. I really gotta change it and all that. Oh man, the name's Tenko. <laughs> Maybe I'll do that voice, I don't know, because I've got nothing better and all that. Why, oh, thank you, Tenko. You're looking bloody cute yourself. <laughs> oh, me cute? You got me all right. I mean, I'm, I'm so bad breathing, I just screws up my face. It's gonna be all right. That's just part of what makes you you, darling. It's all part of your Tenko charm. <laughs> You've got obsessibilities and tolerance. I'm so dazzling, I think I'm gonna go blind. Yes! I'm gonna be a incredible woman like you one day. <laughs> I'm flattered. I guess I've still got it for a girl of my son's age. Can I admire me, eh? <laughs> That's right! Oh, yeah, man. Just by virtue of being a girl, girls are forever wonderful. Listen up! In your case, that girl's charm also comes with several more layers of charm on top. Uh -huh. It's truly wonderful. And yet... Um... Oh, yeah, why? 
I mean, I have zero complaints about you, just... Hey, hey! Could it be about my son? Did he do something to trouble you? No. I know directly, but a degenerate male does harm simply by being a degenerate male. I'm sorry! I had to say that to his mother, but degenerate males are vectors of degeneracy. <laughs> oh, look at me saying something so rude to such a wonderful woman. <laughs> yeah. I tell you, you did not good with guys, huh? Um... And that gut is an understatement. The only good thing about boys is that I bow from a woman. Yeah. It's gonna be alright. I get you. That's not really a big deal, right? Huh? Yeah. <laughs> is Hiroko about to blow Tenko's mind? I'm sure it makes me a little sad as the mother of a boy, but that's part of what makes you Tenko, eh? <laughs> uh huh, Cole. But maybe. As a woman myself, I can understand how you feel about men. Okay. All the uh, Tenko stands out there probably are hating me for this voice that I've just given their beloved character. But you know what? I regret nothing. Look, I'm General Red Strategist. Doing stupid voices when I'm playing visual novel style games is pretty much my thing. That's what I do. As I've explained numerous times before, in Danganronpa fan games that i played, possibly in other VNs that i played as well on the channel, I cannot do serious voices to save, save my life, okay? They all sound the same. So I have to lean into the absurdity as a result. It's not my fault. It's my biology's fault. That's what I'm going to say, okay? Well, your consideration and concern for me mm, shows what a good person you really are. <laughs> Such radiance, so sparkle. This is a girl's final form. The little day I will come when I could be like Hiroko, but the thinking about it is making me despair. Well... Just take it easy, darling, and remember that there's always a chance for people to change. Yes! Aye aye, old Mother Superior! Hmm... Mother what now? Yes, I am Superior, Tenko, and don't you forget it. Oh, darling. That's Hiroko's words that I've just given her. I've just put into her mouth. Not anyone else's hurt. Alright, let's keep moving before I start digging myself into a stupid hole. Let's do another friendly event, why not? Oh... Yeah. You're not the person I would have wanted to do a friendly event with. Friggin' pickle hair. Get out of here. I'm just curious, but do you have any trouble changing clothes? Somebody's here to help. My friend! That right, you know what? That's the voice we're going with. My body has been like this for a long time. I can do almost anything myself. Hmm? That's great, darling. We think they'd have been more accommodating if we all have virtual avatars. <laughs> You mean I should have been able to walk on that island? <laughs> like I said. That's not necessarily a good thing. Being able to change your body for convenience might have made some people never want to retire. <laughs> yeah. Good point. Sorry, I didn't mean to put my foot in my mouth. All the Monica stands out there probably are very offended by this voice I've given her. And you know what I say? Sorry, not sorry. I regret nothing. I don't mind, love. I'm sure you're not first person to think that way. Jeez. You really are mature for a kid, darling. Sounds like you have the brain of an adult. Let's do it! Can I do that? Mm. Right, would you say something like that, you fucking bitch? Monica is not an adult. Yeah. <laughs> do you like the voice? Do you like the voice? Alright, alright, darling. You don't have to revert back to child mode. I'm sorry. Never thought I'd meet a kid who'd get mad for being called mature. Oh. Oh, some kids just want to be kids. Do I not forget the fun of being a kid? Huh. I have forgotten, darling. There's plenty of fun in being an adult too, if you know what I mean. There are lots of things only adults can enjoy, plus we have the freedom to do whatever we want. For me? I don't say things like that a lot, but it's adults who take away kids' rights. Right. Well, oh, you really are a child, darling. You do really are an adult, you fucking bitch. Talking like you know so much, yeah. <laughs> Please leave a like if that uh, exchange very much entertained you with my special voices. And if it didn't entertain you, then uh, leave a like all the same. Because you don't have a choice in the matter. I mean, you walls, bitch. <laughs> right. Uh, right. Uh, you guys just get moving on. Before I end up saying something really stupid. Right. Because uh, I totally haven't said anything stupid already. Right, I was talking about um, Liverpool trip. Let's get back to what we were talking about a moment ago. So, um... Yeah, he went to the cathedrals as well. Ryzen, and uh, they're, they're pretty good, you know. If you're into architecture of old buildings, or, you know, even new architecture, Okey they're so pretty long. good. But, uh, you know, what else uh, we did while well, I was uh, up north? We um, we also went to Arnside, which I mentioned, I think, a moment ago. Which is sort of, uh, you know, north or north along the edge of Morecambe Bay. Sort of northwest of England, in case you don't know where that is. And uh, it's pretty good. 
It's a nice, nice little sort of, um, sort of seaside estuarine kind of walk. Especially on a summery day when it's nice and sunny. You get the right kind of weather. Absolutely lovely. And you can sort of like wander very close to the sands, though obviously you don't wander too far on the sands because obviously it's Morecambe Bay. If you don't know anything about Morecambe Bay, basically dangerous sands, ladies and gentlemen. That's the key thing to know. Potential quicksands that you can get stuck in. Yo. Some of it away, Teru Teru. It's just a stir fry I threw together, but give it a try. <laughs> and this is made for me, just for me, my charming lady. And that in itself is enough to make, enough to make me happy. Um. But I assure her about doing something like this for a little of me. Leave it to me. I'm sure, I'm sure, darling. Cooking may be your time, but you're always making food for everyone. It's always so delectable. I only wish I could make something that good, but this is my thanks. <laughs> I'm also going to offer to tie you up in the back room later and give you a jolly good whipping. Because you would like that, wouldn't you, you fucking perv? In that case, I would turn back. I'm going to dive in right in, both into the dish and into the uh, BDSM treatment later. <laughs> mm -hmm. This is good. I can taste the love. It brings back memories. It kind of reminds me of my mama. Mom, but you're way prettier, Hiroko. Jeez. Wait a sec. Isn't your mother a pro? Comparing me to her is just embarrassing. Oh, right, it's good to speak of another chef while dining on another chef's cuisine. <laughs> Ma is Ma, Iroko is Iroko, and both of you are damn fine cooks. Yeah. You just love your mother's cooking. Is that what got you into cooking too, darling? I... From as far back as I can remember, I wanted people to eat my cooking and smile. Hmm? Oh, yeah? Your mother must be proud to have such a fine son. Ah, uh. <laughs> And such flattery will only embarrass me. I never get compliments on anything but my cooking. Mm -hmm. Well, no, Ma is different. She always gives me praise for my hard work, no matter what I do. Ma, and only Mama. Hmm. She sounds like a wonderful lady, but... <sighs> you don't let a lack of compliments outside of cooking stop you, right? <laughs> Pretty much. I live my life with honesty, after all. Ah, oh, you know. Terror Terror's friendly events sometimes are quite wholesome. Almost making me forget that he's a complete fucking borderline sex offender at times. Mm. Ah. Let's drink some more water. Who cares about my potential, darling? Isn't it more important for me to watch over the youngins? That's a good idea. I ought to ask my son's classmates about how they study. Who's the most diligent student here? That could be any number of them. Wonder what that mysterious girl is up to. I feel like that could be Monica, that could be Junko, I've no idea. Should start by greeting my son's friends. Who's the most diligent? Oh. Yo. Yeah, makes sense. Hey, Kiyotaka, darling. Doing well? Hmm. Ah, Yasuhiro's mother. Allow me to extend my most sincere gratitude for your assistance. Hmm? No need to be so formal, darling. Ain't gonna bite you. Not hard, anyway. <laughs> Formality is the least I can offer. You're the magnificent one who raised me as a hero. Huh. Well, honest to a fault, eh? I think you do with a bit more innocent charm. Anyway. The mountain of books is impressive. Are you researching something? Indeed I am. I still have much to learn, after all. But... I think you're the magnificent one to you, Tarka. I've got you back, just to be sure to relax, just be sure to relax too. <laughs> My most sincere gratitude for your consideration. Hey, hey! I told you. Drop the formality already, darling. Kiyotaka told me studying secrets. Well, good for him. Ah, red talent fragments are perfect for this character. Ah. Shiners, yeah, yeah, what? So. I'll take. I'll take the small one. So. And hopefully I'll get this right. <laughs> hey! See, sometimes I just get, I just get a little hunch. Oh my god, it barely gave me fucking any. What the hell? <laughs> Someone get Monotaro and Monofani back in here and get them to freaking scrounge some more. I feel cheated. I feel like an entitled parent who feels like they're entitled to more. More, 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 more. Right, let's just accumulate some cash, I guess. And move our way up towards the Mona Tiger. Rise. Yeah. Hmm? Oh, so. Go away. Even though I just asked for you to come back and bring more talents. Zero move. I don't need that. Oh, God, I'm getting some real low rolls here. This is not, not ideal. But I will, uh, kind of steal the pants and give a bit steal the bodies out. Uh, can I sell? Yes, I can. 
And to sell a couple of those bad boys. Uh, I'll take. I'll take the snake scroll, why the hell not? Um, one Central Island card. And we'll get two of them for now. There we are. Perfect. Thank you. Right, um, okay. Try and push forward to old friggin' Magumbo up there. Actually, no, let's do a random event. Okay, uh, yeah, I don't think we're going to be getting very far in this playthrough, ladies and gentlemen, but it's fine. I'm walking along the beach when I discover some sort of switch on the ground. Well done, though, I've got to press it. <laughs> what exactly happened? Well, job or influence, that's fine. Somehow. I'm not entirely sure how, but it worked. Yeah, I think, uh, you know, I shouldn't really too, kind of, worry too much in this kind of particular playthrough, because, you know, we're not trying to get too far, are we? But, you know, let's see if I can get uh, a good upgrade card, maybe. Hold on. Bollocks. I didn't want either of those. I completely fucked that one up. Alright, get rid of that. Don't want it. Yeah, I could always just use that uh, one move straight away, since I want to be pretty much over here. Very good. Smash that bad boy. Perfect. We should be prepared for the friggin' mono tank. Very really good. Could probably invest in some skills as well if I wanted to while I'm at it. Maybe something that only needs red. I don't know. Should we do that? I think we should. Oh shit! No, I don't want to. I want to rest. I want to skill me up. I want to skill myself up, baby. Uh, some rain fist could be a good one. But uh, we're, 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 we're not sure. Why the hell not? Um, sure. One. Well, at least we get a friendly event out of it and all that. Here we go. Mr. Ants! Duh! Two characters who I couldn't care any less about. <laughs> Here, I'll check it out. Here, let me sing it between the gaps of your bandages, you fucking prick. <laughs> Love how I just add words sometimes. Oh, stop, I'm afraid I'll squish them when I move. Got a sec? Come on here, Co. That's a really mean prank, darling. I'm gonna have to get the spanking paddle out. Aww. You got a problem here? I don't like the electric. Stop it! My hands are crawling all over me. Get them off, please. Jeez. There you go, how's that? You know, you really should try pushing back a little, Shirakuma. But if I resist against Hiko, there's no telling what might happen. Just like you. I am originally a Monokuma, remember? My claws and teeth may be sealed away, but they're still there. Yeah. Oh, so you're not resisting on the off chance you'll end up hurting her, huh? Well, I'm all about the pain, darling. Particularly netting it out to other people. In a sexy dungeon, huh? Hey! <laughs> so what? You say you can beat me if you start your serious big words, chump? What? I'm not kidding about my potential. Ah! Stop putting hands on me! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm doing much fun. I wonder if they'll leave black smudges if I, smudges if I smush them on you. Hey, hey. All right, it's enough out of you, darling. Actually. You can poke a prod a bear all you want, but don't be surprised if it ends up biting you. Nice to see someone's trying to actually discipline that unruly child. <laughs> you can tell I still don't really care for Hiyoko. I know, I've seen her free time events. I know that technically she has characterization, still doesn't make me like her, okay? Let us do a battle against a crab boy. Here goes gonna be eating some nice roasted crab tonight. Boil it. Put it in a nice dish with vegetables. Get out of here! Central Island card. Uh, I won't say no to that. That's a good one. Let's just move on. We'll just try and push forward to the tank. Why not? I'm walking on the beach when... Look out! Coconuts are raining down on me. I welcome the challenge. And I'll get hit on the head. Hit on the head, even. See? Let me just adjust my microphone. <laughs> Strength at least has increased, which is fine. Good for an athletic character. Oh, Frenzy! Wow, this is not activated very often. At least not as much as I thought it would for an athletic character. Unless Hiroko just has a lesser chance of it happening compared to other athletic 
characters and all that, I don't know. I don't know, that doesn't tell me, I don't know how it works. I think I would know since I'm, what, like, freaking 30 some episodes in. But now, you know, I, I, I don't. I'm rubbish at memorising certain things sometimes. Let me try my summer rain fist on you, please. Oh, I can't. Never mind. Well, we'll just attack you instead. You bitch. What do you like? Oh, that didn't do anywhere near as much as I hoped it would. Awaken. Boom. Smash that bad boy. There we are. 750 chapel. Coins is fantastic. What now? Rising Shiner's sign! Dicks. Hell yeah! That's right. So long. Farewell. <sighs> I just got a load of coins from beating that boss and then you instantly took them away. What a pair of pricks. Tricky, dicky, tricky buggers. Hmm, that's an interesting place to put me. It's not bad though. I'll take it. Even though it's nowhere near where I actually need to be, but hey. Hello there. Right, let's get towards the um, third island. Big roll, please. Perfect. Let's move right to where I need to be. Thank you. Smash Snake Boy to pieces. They don't stand a chance. Okay, right, got all of that cash back. Don't you dare come and steal it from me again. Ya bitches. Ya bitches. That does make up a little bit for what you just did. Get me to the boss. Am I ready for this? Ew, this could be a bad idea, actually. I don't know if I'm ready for this boss. Well, we'll find out soon enough. What if I just amass power first? Okay, he's going to do zeal. Which is not good for him. Yeah, yeah, it was put to bed. Oh, no, I could die here. Oh, never mind. Nope. <laughs> well, turns out I'm actually super powerful. Thank you. Thousand and fifty Jabba coins. Lovely jubbly. Lovely jubbly doo. Right, Central Island. Straight out of here. We just blitz through the third island like that. I just clicked my fingers. I don't know if you heard that, ladies and gentlemen. Hello. I get another Central Island card. Uh, uh. Yes, look at that. And an intellect, an intellect one. Festival. I'm on a cups okay. putting on a thing. A, fi a fi firework thing. You can't have a festival without fireworks, darling. It makes me want to bust out the booze. Uh, go and talk to Hero. Yeah, I don't want to check up on the children. Uh, teacher's going to be one of the modern cubs. I don't want to talk to any of these fine Hero. Hmm. Go and celebrate with them, darling. Times like these make for the best memories, right? Well? That's why I'm here with you, Ma. Here, check this out. Hey, hey! This is Sake, darling. Almost everyone on this island is a miner. I didn't think they, I didn't think they sold Sake. Hmm. The Monocub. Monocub's made a special except. Actually... Can't talk all of a sudden. You know, when I turned 21 and moved into the Hopespe Academy doors. You know? I wanted to drink with you when I came of age, but we never got the chance. Here's that chance. How about that? Oh, she is. Someone's a smooth talker, darling. That's my son for you. I watch fireworks and sip Sake with my son. Oh! How nice! This has never happened before. Why did this happen all of a sudden? Did we trigger a special event? Okay, um... Well, it looks like everyone is having so much fun. Just watching them makes me smile. It's getting interesting! You better believe the festival was a success, doll face. Oh! I can't help it without us. Not that I remember doing much but go us. You bastards! Why is it in this image? Monophony looks like she's got an extending neck. We built this badass town for free too, so they'd better bow down to us. Um, we used the ones. It was done in an instant. Interesting. Is that like a random event that can sometimes occur? I assume so, but... I feel like it's the first time I've ever had that. Rising Shiner! That's what. Well. Okay, fine. So then. I'll take the risk. It's okay. Doesn't matter if it goes wrong because we're not planning on taking this character into battle mode anyway. Hey! It failed. <laughs> Damn it! 
Ugh, you bastard. Ah. You little shit. Ugh. Uh, not the best, but hey, what can you do? You can always go to the fourth island, go to the shop and just get some replenishment gear. Let's do that. Four. Let's go around the island. I could have actually gone on a growth square, couldn't I, to instantly get some of it back. There you go. Perfect. It was right there. Not a bunch of assholes. Those bloody monocubs are. Bird boy. I reckon we can still take you down. Yeah. We should be able to. Just like that. See? Didn't even matter in the end. Screw that bad boy over. Right, let's try and get to the shop then. Get some proper weapons. Maybe land on a few growth squares on the way and all that. Let me have a sip of another, water, another sip of water even whilst I'm at it. What we got around here? Oh shit, wrong way. Go this way. Do a random event. Sure. Monicate and Monadam are fighting. How should I break them up? Both are guilty and should be punished. Yes, punish both of them. There's no excuse for physical altercations. <laughs> Set them flying. Strength increase. Fantastic. Went nice up. Whoop. That fucking roller coaster. <laughs> Here we go. Ooh. Get a random treasure. Sounds pretty good. Can we get a success card, maybe? Uh, hold on. Okay, double square card. That's fine. Uh, oh, I should have used my... Oh, I'll get rid of that, then. And I'll just use that intellect card before I forget about it. Uh, there we go. Lovely. I'll just keep trying for... There we go. Perfect. Uh, we can get the... Sure. Let's get the one that increases our attack. Um, anything else? I have space for another card. Let's get a quadruple move. That's pretty good. Alright, okay, let's do that. Here we go. What now? Yeah, give me some of that money, you bitch. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Perfect. Lovely jubbly. Could have actually probably waited and he might have popped up and then give me that money before I spent it on the quadruple move and then maybe I could have got the armour, but... Bah, should be fine, right? Friendly event. Ooh. Hey. Well, this is a uh, interesting combination, isn't it? Goofy voice for Mio. Uh, yeah, hello, Wheels. Good news, courtesy of your local ge gorgeous girl genius. <laughs> I thought of a way to rebuttal your old bike. Yeah. Won't even blow out everyone's eardrums now. Huh? Huh? What's that? I just sworn you screwed up my name. But anyway, about my bike, you really think so? Yeah. Mondo may be the ultimate biker gang leader, but I can tell he's been considerate with his riding. So you noticed. Well. Yeah, I saw you looking off into space on a night with pleasant wind, looking bored. I... I just... Of course I want to go full throttle, but a lot of folks study and work on assignments at night. Yeah. I'd ride around on another island far away, but I'm running into beasts would really suck. <laughs> yeah, well, your days are cranking your hog in secret behind you. You better be grateful. What? I depend on whether or not it works. I put my soul into that bike. Yeah, it's not the real deal, but I won't settle for half-assery. You know. Yeah, calm your tits. The remodeling is just for the virtual world, so it look and feel the same. So I'll take a copy of a bike, program it to be signed within a designated area, and... That being said... Hey, you don't need a technical rundown. Imagine all the sound around the bike disappearing. <laughs> yeah. Well... So you'll be able to get rid of its sound without modifying its look. That's incredible. The doy! It's a technique only doable in virtual world. Yeah. If you want a swear field to be doing, it'll be here. Huh? That's true. I'll pass on that part, but damn, I think you've sold me on the idea. Hell yeah. All right, can you do it for me? In exchange, I'll remodel the old line once out of here. Did my phone just freaking go off then? You may well have heard that, ladies and gentlemen. What was that? Let me just check my phone. Oh, you buggy, oh, buggy, but hell, why not? You better be grateful to remember my generous genius. So it was my phone. It was a box set. Ah, it's, just, ah, it's just one of my old folks. Sending me a text in. Is that something that's on TV, apparently? Oh, nope, bollocks. I just freaking switched them on my bloody phone camera without meaning to. Let me just turn that off. Sorry, I'm getting completely distracted here. It's not very professional at all. Um, 
I hear that horrible thing. I'll run this bag, any sound you make will also be muted. <laughs> and you'll type who bashes off noisily. You can make all the noise you want on that bad boy. <laughs> Piece of shit! Come on, I won't use my bag for something like that. Besides, even muted it'd be exhibitionism. Mm, that Mew sure is one of a kind, darling. Never seen a girl so free in both words and mannerism. She could do with some sexy discipline. <laughs> I'm sure you'd like to give it to her here, Hiroko. No, that sounds weird. I shouldn't even say that. That sounds really weird. Just ignore what I just said, ladies and gentlemen. That did not come out of my mouth. Mm. Alright. See a bit more water there. Frenzy activated. We could get a double move here, straight to the boss if we wanted. Oh, yeah, that should get us there, right? Let's see if we can take out Buddhist Monokuma over here. Hey, Buddhist Monokuma, I'm here to beat the shit out of you. Uh, let's attack that bad boy. Eee, okay. That could have gone very badly, but fortunately we had, well, the Frenzy as well, which probably helped. Okay, we did about 600 and something damage to him there, didn't we? One of his hit points are uh, maybe just about 600 or something. Possibly, I don't know. I didn't know. I didn't know, ladies and gentlemen. Here's my Central Island card. How whoosh. Go here. Oh, wow, that's very close to Friggin' next boss. Get out of here, sludge boy. You are useless. Okay. I think we've seen a decent amount of friendly events in this playthrough. Oh, look at that, too. Perfect. When the RNG gods smile upon you, they really do smile upon you quite well, don't they? Damn. I should really get some armour, shouldn't I? Don't have much protection. But at least I'm getting some money. We can spend a bit of time on here doing combat. Get some cash, then try and aim for the shop. I think that'd be a good idea. I reckon that'd be a good idea, wouldn't it? I reckon that'd be a good idea in here, ladies and gentlemen. Sorry, I'll try to make sure my commentary doesn't just become me slurring all my words together like a weirdo. Uh, let's get some talent for like months. Uh, well, I'd get some red ones. Rip. Six. Perfect. Thank you. Pretty good. I should just get some blue ones if I can as well. For the particular skills that I've actually... Well, I'm actually trying to work on at present. Um, that does. Yeah, let's get blue ones then. Since we get the opportunity. That's it, Hiroko. Figure out the way. Life's fine, we'll do. Okay, right, let's try and do some battle squares. Get some cash money. Uh, yeah, this one here. Should go around like this, actually. There we are. Or does I now face a really tough enemy? Like this fucking thing. Oh dear, that dear. Okay, I have the revive card. Oh, that's not gonna work, is it? Oh, he's always just gonna fuck me over. Oh, I haven't friggin'. Bollocks. <laughs> fuck me. <laughs> I'm not ready for these guys, clearly. Oh, bollocks. Well, did not work. Right. Central Island. Fucking floor dragons. Such a bunch of assholes. Let's get that Central Island card again if we can. Bollocks. Well, Bulk and Brawn. Not too bad. God damn the fucking... Whoever's calling me, or trying to WhatsApp me, please just leave me be, okay? I'm in the middle of playing Danganronpa S. Do you mind? It takes precedence over whatever you want to tell me, alright? I can attack that guy. What was that? Yeah, it's just parent again. Okay. Well, I, I, I'll get to you in a bit, don't you worry. First, I've got to complete this round. Huh. A bonfire, eh? I'm reminded of one back in the elementary school. And those were the days, darling. Come to me again, it's a hero. Ghost of his days, Toko sitting it out. That could be talking to, talking to Toko, that could be talking to Kamaru. Watch case, we'll try not to interfere. If it's Kamaru, let's see. Oh, never mind, it is Toko. Simplest answer is usually the correct one, isn't it? <gasps> Who would want to participate in that? It's not at your age. It's always a challenge. <laughs> you know what? Fuck that voice. Hey, hey. I can enjoy children's games because I'm an adult. It's more fun to goof around while you can, darling. Well. Though adults have their own ways of goofing off. Nothing. Even I would join in once in a while if it wasn't ghost stories. No, I'm not going to do that voice either. That voice tends to knack on my throat after a while. Um, God, I've got, what voice can I give you that isn't going to just 
either knack at my throat or suck all the air out of my lungs. Ah, oh, forget. No, forget it. Suffice it to say, the Akia isn't participating, so neither will I. Tug and I watched the kids having fun. Wow, she went about through about three different voices there in that cutscene. Mm. Yes, Ooh, actually. I'm gonna die, but fuck it, it'll be worth it. I'm not ready for this boss, but we'll see. Freaking rat boy over here. Right. Oh, he's gonna kill me. Yeah. <laughs> Bollocks. <laughs> oh, well. At least we're back here. Well, I don't think we're gonna be getting very far in this one. Let's get to the treasure square. Can I take on a simple enemy? Ooh. Oh, fuck. <laughs> God damn it. I have nothing protective. It's really bad. Hiroko is getting her ass kicked. Oh dear. Take me to the treasure. Ugh, I can only do mid-bosses. I'm going to get my ass kicked again. I'm going to get my fucking ass kicked. Watch. See? Bollocks. I just need to get a treasure. Maybe it'll give me a powerful weapon or some speed or something. Who knew? Please, give me something better than a one. Encounter card. Never used them. Dragon Boy. Yeah, that's it. Give me a good hitting. Alright, why am I still in here? This is no good. I think I'm locked in an infinite loop of dying here. So I keep respawning on the door square. That's no good to me. Give me some treasure. A B&W rod would be... Oh, but that doesn't increase speed though, does it? I don't think. Oh, I didn't want that! I didn't want that, that's fucking useless to me. Can't do it with it. Err, oh, dearie me. Here's not gonna go well for me. See? Well, it doesn't matter. It's an end rank card. We're not seeking to make it super powerful. Her uh, super powerful, even. Sorry, did I just refer to Hiroko as it? Why did I do that? How very rude of me. Any treasure? I want goodbye cards. I don't like them. BMW underpants, please. Shit. I don't want money. Well, we're out of time. It's fine. You're right. It almost feels unfair that I've got to have a front row seat of my son son's growth. Why would that feel unfair? You're his parent. There's one person who's going to have a front row seat to it. Surely it would be you, wouldn't it? Right. Uh, what can we get? Let us invest more in the summer rain fest. Uh, yep, get that there. Anything else good that we can get? Uh, the falcon kick. Uh, if I take one out of there, actually, and put two into there, does that work? One more into that. Sure. Just get those ones. Why the hell not? Even though I'm not going to be using this character in all likelihood. Good. Now, do we get any coins? We can take to the shop. Fragment has... Oh! Aha! See, I had to do one more character to get this. Okay, well, we can do that in the next episode, ladies and gentlemen. So, would it be... 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 What am I trying to say? I don't even know. Um... Yeah, probably be uh, another episode characters then. You would take on Monodam, I would guess. Okay. 32 out of 35. Interesting. Oh, very good. Okay. Well, I didn't get any coins then, apparently, which... Ah, uh, well, never mind. What can you do? All right, well, join me for the next part, ladies and gentlemen. I might get recording it straight away, to be honest, because I feel like doing so, uh, in which we'll take on Monodam, I think. I reckon that would be a good thing to do, wouldn't it, ladies and gents? So join me for that. Uh, as usual, social media links and propaganda channel link are down in the video description for anyone interested. And if you enjoyed, a like is, of course, always appreciated. But other than that, I'm signing off now. Goodbye, everybody. Oh! Oh! That's it! Oh, God! No, don't hit me! Ah, come on, now. Where are you? Oh, shit. Uh, bad. Oh, that's bad. That's very, very bad. Uh, don't you dare! 
And just wait for him, wait for him. He's gonna disappear into this one. Go. Can I get you? Where are you? Oh, there you are. Get on him. There we go. Gotcha. Are you gonna come out there? Yep. Oh, he's doing this again. Okay. God, what an ugly bastard, seriously. 